what do you do? What do you do, right? This is an interesting conundrum because I'm not too sure where I land on this because it's a bit of an interesting one. What do you do if you and your partner, you and your girlfriend, you and your boyfriend, you and your husband, you and your wife are working at the same company, but then the boss fires your partner? Do you leave? If, if especially if the if the firing was like unjustified and was a little bit in poor te- was a little bit no left a bad taste in the mouth that kind of firing not like a not like a justifiable one like a firing that kind of came out of the blue unexpected a little bit of a you know you feel a little bit slighted by it if your partner got fired do you leave the workplace that you're both at or do you stay because bills need to be paid as a, as a as a you know as as you are in a relationship and you're in a couple the bills still need to get paid that doesn't change so maybe it's, it's better if somebody who has got the job kind of stays at the job and doesn't get emotional and leave i don't know but the conundrum here I'm mentioning is regarding um, Yuri and his girlfriend Riley, who were formerly at No Jumper. So it looks like, according to this clip here from Yuri's channel, that his girlfriend Riley got fired from No Jumper. And it's off the back of everybody getting fired there and leaving ADT Rail, Houseman and Blasey. All these guys are basically leaving because, you know, Adam 22 is kind of getting exposed for being a little bit of a suspect individual. There's articles coming out about him, you know, trying to cancel him, making, you know, making it seem like he's a racist and this and a pedophile, whatever. Loads of stuff is happening. But essentially what you can ascertain from this is that either Adam 22 is trying to clean house to restart the whole No, J- no Jumper network or essentially because all the biggest sort of like uh, you know hosts and personalities on the platform have left there's not enough money coming in to justify people's wages so he just has to make some cuts there's too much overhead so i'm not really too sure where it sits on what the reason is behind it but i'm just thinking if i was yuri and my girlfriend got fired i'd want to just ride out for her or if i didn't want to ride out for her and quit as well i would be a little bit more upset and pissed off at the stream like on live stream i maybe vent my frustration via the this live stream platform about why how unfair it is but let's listen to them talk about the firing and you can kind of get an idea on where their mindsets are but i think the way yuri's kind of looking at it is a bit strange um how he's kind of reacting to his girlfriend basically you know um, her life basically imploding off of the back of all these other guys leaving okay but either way how's your week been it's been crazy uh, <laughs> i feel like weird and like embarrassed kind of to talk about it why i don't know why you feel embarrassed because like i don't know it's just awkward and annoying and well you have nothing to feel embarrassed about honestly it's just i've never been through this so it's like yeah weird but yeah pretty much i was let go from the no jumper team the rumors are true <laughs> <laughs> the rumors are true yeah and yeah i mean it's been an uh, emotional it's like a lot of different emotions mm-hmm. it's like i feel like it was gonna ha- i felt like it was gonna happen like i already kind of had a feeling it was coming and i just kind of annoyed with myself because like i just should have seen it coming and like yeah trusted my gut a little more um but yeah i don't know it's just crazy we might as well like you know speak on everything where it's like you know obviously it's been like an emotional thing for riley because she's never been she told me like i didn't know this uh i thought you know you have experience because i feel like everyone's gone through this before but like i've been laid off from from jobs like three four times and every time it's like uh hey you know this branch isn't making enough money anymore sorry hey yeah we're closing down down this location if you want to go to this other location you're welcome to like but sorry you know it's like i've been laid off a couple times like that before and it's like the first time i remember it, it was like felt weird i was like damn like what the fuck just like, like what? i just went to the skate park i remember and i was just like damn i'm unemployed now like it's kind of strange you know but uh um I didn't know that you've never like gone through it. And for Riley, it was kind of like an emotional thing where she was just like, Oh my God, I can't believe, you know, this is happening. But it's, it really sucks because it kind of happened in, in a weird time because it's like, uh, Riley, like about a month ago, like, or a month and a half ago was already planning on like pursuing, Leaving. yeah. Like pursuing her older. <laughs> <I'm kidding. laughs> Ew, I hate myself. <laughs> Why are you getting emotional just about because. it? Are you going to miss it? <laughs> yo monetizing your girlfriend's tears is like another level and this is when content creation just gets a little bit too crazy for me 
getting your girlfriend to sit on camera and basically bear her soul. This is the first time she's been fired. She's clearly very emotional, clearly, um, you know, a lot more emotional than maybe Yuri is as a person anyway. So it's just going to be heightened. And especially if she's saying what she's saying is true, where she kind of should have saw it coming. You're kind of having a bit of regret. You're feeling a little bit dumb. You're feeling a little bit silly. And then here you are on camera, basically having to bear your soul for clicks and views. Like, oh, being a content creator is hard, man. When it comes to stuff like this, it's difficult because it kind of makes sense because, you know, if you don't monetize it, then it's not going to help you in the end. And it kind of adds to the story. And if you do go to make your own channel, it might be beneficial for people to have like a beginning and a middle and an end to kind of look back on. If she ends up being super successful on the content creation side of it, this side, this clip will be a good thing to put in your compilation of like, hey, I started from the bottom. Look how down I was here. And I look how up I am. That's quite a good thing to talk about. But flip, man, I think sometimes humanity has to come in and be like, you know what? Let's just turn the cameras off and, you know, not record this because this is a little bit weird. It feels a little bit exploitative, but again, when it's your girl and girlfriend, when it's her deciding to do it herself, maybe it's okay. In certain aspects, like, I'm saying, like, it was bound to happen because, like, personally, like, I wasn't really, Babe. like, <laughs> You're gonna make me happy, cry. like, mm -hmm. just doing what I was doing because I just felt stagnant and, like, I wasn't advancing in anything and just kind of doing the same old, same old. So I was looking and, like, doing something because i just felt bored you know mm -hmm. like i wanted to get back into hair and starting getting creative and stuff but i also did love working there too because like i did make great friends like i'm gonna miss the girls oh <laughs> you're still gonna be in touch with the girls like you're still know, you're still talk like, to them it's different i don't know it just it's crazy because it just, it's just <laughs> so much has changed in like such a little time and it was just crazy to be a part of that. And it's, like just, I don't know. It's, it, it, like, it really hit us when we were like looking at the, the Christmas photo. Mm -hmm. And we were like, damn, that's it. It's like this is an era that's not going to be around anymore. You know what I mean? At all. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah. I mean, I understand, I understand obviously. Like, exactly. It's, it's happening like, to multiple people. It's not just me. And it's. But with your situation, it was. It's it, just crazy. It was even like like i don't know you uh, riley got put in a really a fucked up position because look he's gonna make it worse for it he's gonna explain it but this is the thing with firing it always is personal i've only gone through it what a couple of times i feel like and even if it's not personal it's always personal it always gonna feel personal especially even my most recent um let you know my most recent firing was like a wide company-wide thing unfortunately the company i was working at you know prior was like it got it basically went bankrupt um not the one i'm at now but the one before that and they just couldn't, you know, they just couldn't keep up the payments and they couldn't make payroll and stuff. And it just, it just happened. But even then it feels personal. So there's no amount of convincing with from anybody that's ever going to make you feel like it's not personal. It's strange, isn't it, firings? Even if you've been made redundant company-wide, like everyone gets made redundant, your whole team gets let go. You're always going to feel like it's personal, always. Like I said, like about a month ago, she was trying to g get back into hairstyling and, you know, her hair career, basically. And she found a spot that was, like, kind of willing to, like... And it was actually a really, really nice spot that had really I'm nice so clients, pissed. all this stuff. And Riley was, like, trying to get this position to, like, enter into this job, you know what I mean? Or this, like, uh, salon. Yeah, it was a really good salon. And then, uh... And Riley had this discussion, you know what I mean, with No Jumper, where she was like, Hey, guys, like, I'm planning on working this other job like can we somehow like work out a schedule Jesus where i can work Christ. there and work here you know what i mean or something like that and she was told oh no it's like it's fine like we'll give you a raise and then you know and, like we'll, we'll get you taken care of so that you don't have to go do that i was hyped Damn. and then like literally the next week is like when all the drama started like spinning Damn. out of control yeah and i was just like oh fuck like i i knew in my gut like that as soon as that monday hit and all the lust shit happened i was like no like this is not good yeah and i hit up that stylist i hit her back up and i was like i don't know <laughs> what's gonna go on with my job right now but i have a bad feeling about it is there any way like you're down for me to still come back to work and she's like <laughs> nah like i need a reliable person blah 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 because riley had to uh like miss one of the interviews because she was told like hey you know we actually have a better position for you here and whatever it is but and 
but anyway, look, the, the the mayor of the fact is that girl is com- it, it's incredibly dumb. Unfortunately, maybe it's her age, maybe she's just naive in general. But honestly, the first thing that you should always learn from a job is that they're always going to look after number one. She should have never asked no jumper for permission to go back into hairdressing or hairstyling. She should have just done it anyway. And as a great saying goes, don't ever ask for permission, always ask for forgiveness. And then kind of figured it out along the way. If it became a thing where no jumper and the hairstyling thing were becoming too much and you should have quit one or the other, decide on the spot. But she should have never have gone and asked permission because the same thing would have happened the other way around. If she, was, if she was a hairstylist and she told them, hey, in my off time, I'm working at this place called No Jumper, they would have also done the same thing. They would have said, no, don't go there. We're going to increase your money. We're going to give you more shifts, whatever, just to keep you on board because employers will always look after number one. So you as an employee, a freelance, or whatever it is, you have to make sure you look after yourself too. That's a number one rule of working anywhere in the job space. You just have to make sure you always look after yourself because they don't want to, they're never ever going to have your best interests at heart and in this case to be fair to no jumper also they weren't to they weren't they weren't gonna be um um they weren't to know that their whole world would employ would implode as well the following week the whole lush thing happens with no adam no on no jumper where adam fries lush on air because allegedly he leaked some information about what adam's saying about the host behind their backs so or some guy on discord blah 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 and then that kind of started the whole cycle of everybody basically leaving getting fired leaving arguing and basically you know no jumper as we know it has kind of changed ever since then so they weren't to know that that was going to happen either but surely if you're somebody that is thinking if you're that riley or that person this girl you're like hey i'm already feeling stagnant at the job i want to make a bit of a change anyway you should have been thinking two three four five steps ahead already and the first thing mistake she done the first lethal mistake she done was ever asking a jumper flow flipping permission to go and do hairstyle she just gone ahead and did it anyway but it did get me thinking i think to myself if i was in that position i was yuri i think just because of how disrespectful the firing was i would have to step as well for my girl i'd have to step i'd have to step for my girl i'd have to step for my wife my whatever i'd have to step i'd have to just 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 our principle or at least if you're not going to do that at least throw a bit more of a tantrum on stream at least be a little bit more angry and frustrated and stuff and you know be saying things online and stuff that might be that might kind of bring her some comfort and bring you some comfort also that you're throwing a bit of a wobbler but just to sit there and be rolling up joints that's the first thing he's doing he's just rolling up weed he's just chilling smiling oh, why are you crying what do you why she's crying you know why she's crying it's the first time she got fired it's from a pretty decent job um it's it, it was during a time where she didn't wasn't like it's probably the worst time to get fired when you don't even like the job anyway it's okay to get fired from maybe it's, maybe it's okay it, it, it maybe it's gonna sting if you get fired from a job that you you know kind of um love but imagine that a job where you're kind of already kind of getting over it and you want to make a change but they decide to fire you before you leave that's gonna hurt <laughs> <laughs> so you can imagine where she was at in that kind of mindset as well and she's obviously clearly you know a little bit more sensitive than flipping um you know um what you call it she's obviously more sensitive than yuri but i don't know man i just think if that was me i would step for my girl i would definitely step and i'll definitely make sure hey i'm gonna support you so i'm gonna go and roll as well even though it's gonna hurt us both but we're gonna figure it out you know we've got two brains here we're both quite young we can figure it out we can make sure we can keep the lights on and shit and kind of do what needs to be done but you know i guess they're gonna have to figure it out as they go along but yeah but big up riley hopefully she kind of lands on her feet but this is further proof that no jumper as we knew it has definitely over man it's over it's done it's a fact it's never coming back again that area is completely gone but yeah she should have been a little bit more clocked on as to what to do man um but yeah what can you do now nah, she's young yeah yeah she, she, she's young I, I get what you mean richie she's definitely young um but i just think you have to grow up really quickly when you're in the workplace no one cares what your age is at work unfortunately 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 you have to just grow up there is no oh i'm young i don't know this thing no no either you grow up or you get taken advantage of and you know the worst thing possible when you're at work is finding out a number one you're not getting paid as much as people number two you're doing more work than people are doing and you're getting paid you know less than some people that are doing less work and that kind of stuff or just sometimes when you know when your concerns and stuff are not met or maybe you're not listened to and stuff it can just feel annoying so it's better to kind of just you know counteract that is to grow up very quickly and to understand how people move and how they act in workplaces you should be you should be a little bit like that but again you know what do i know when it comes to sort of things what do i know